The Emerald trial is a phase three clinical trial which randomized patients with estrogen receptor positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer to receive either elisestrant or standard of care endocrine therapy, depending on the prior endocrine therapy that patients had received. All patients on the trial had received a prior CDK4-6 inhibitor in the metastatic setting, and there were two primary endpoints to the study. The first was progression-free survival in the whole patient population, and the second one was progression-free survival in the patient population with tumors that had ESR1 mutations. So this was a randomized phase three clinical trial with two primary endpoints. Um, and, and so, and it was a registrational trial. The key findings of the, of the trial were that uh, elisastrant outperformed standard of care endocrine therapy in uh, both primary endpoints, bro both in the median progression-free survival and the median progression-free survival in patients with tumors that had ESR1 mutations. The follow-up data that was presented at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium this year was that um, patients' duration of, uh, of, of elisastrant and standard of care therapy was dependent on prior duration on, of CDK4-6 inhibition. But the longer the CDK4-6 inhibition uh, duration was, the longer the elisastrant duration was as well. And the difference between the elisastrant and the standard of care arm was increased by the longer duration of a CDK4-6 inhibitor. So the, the clinical impact of the results that we presented is 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 pretty big. Uh, we we know that uh, patients that have initially received a CDK4-6 inhibitor and endocrine therapy in the metastatic setting, their tumors start becoming endocrine resistant. And so after the progression on a CDK4-6 inhibitor, we try to uh, um, struggle a lot of times with what treatment to give next. We can give combination endocrine therapy we can give chemotherapy. But both of these options have uh, quite, quite a bit of toxicity. The Emerald trial showed that if we have a tumor that is endocrine sensitive, and the way we, we, we uh, gauge that is by duration of the prior CDK4-6 inhibitor, that there is a very good option in giving uh, patients elisastrant, especially in, in the patients whose tumors are ESR1 mutated. And those patients can take single agent endocrine therapy, with a very uh, manageable side effect profile instead of getting either combination therapy or jumping to chemotherapy. So the Southstrand is currently being evaluated by the FDA for approval. And uh, obviously, depending on how this approval goes through, this will be um, uh, a way to use Elisastrant in uh, clinical care. Mm -hmm.